it's a girl. <laughs> oh, can you believe it? My first ever catacetum blooms and it blooms as a girl. This is my Jack of Diamonds. Recently, I saw a video from Attainable Green talking about hers and dormancy stages. And I was kind of questioning my blooms here. And I've never actually seen a lot about female catacetum blooms on the internet. When I was trying to figure out whether this is an actual bloom from a Jack of Diamonds or is it mislabeled, my first inkling was it's mislabeled. Turns out that after a bit of reading and looking things up, I still couldn't find really any pictures except for the American Orchid Society where I could see some catacetum blooms, but they were all species. But it brought me to a conclusion. If you've never seen a female catacetum bloom and were wondering what is the difference? Well, let me tell you, yours, if it blooms like this, may not necessarily be a female bloom but in my case a lot of green and that hood the pouch on top determines a female bloom in a catacetum it can have a tinge of yellow in it but it's not flashy or showy like the male blooms on a catacetum. So true to other forms of nature having little quirks, the men are always prettier. They're always more colorful. They, as in the case of some birds, scream the loudest, whereas the females are nondescript. They kind of blend into their environment. They're not showy or flashy. They don't stand out and posture or eyes or anything like that. And you could say the same thing for catacetum blooms. <laughs> so if you were expecting something in, in your catacetum that was a little bit more wow, that like you see on the internet a lot, and you get something like this, chances are you've got the female bloom. So I'm not giving up hope on the fact that this catacetum is correctly labeled. I'm just going with the fact that I have female blooms on my Jack of Diamonds. Well, hey, I've learned something new. And I haven't even said hello yet, but yeah, when you get excited about having a girl, <laughs> then, you know, it's like yappy, 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 and let's get on with it. Now, but hello, thank you for having a look. If you have been confused about what does it mean, what does it look like, a female catacetum bloom, they will look very similar to this, very green, could be a touch of yellow, and very, very firm. I mean, this is, let me see if I can do something here. All right, let's see if this works because I'm going to put my mic to the flower so that when I tap it, you can hear just how tough it is. So I hope that was audible. Very, very hard outer structure. And in the meantime, a little bit of whatever it is that dangles down from here has already dropped. These are quite interesting, interesting blooms. No fragrance whatsoever. And I still have the bulb in the back, plump. It still has leaves. So these have been open now uh, a week and I find them fascinating. Now, why am I getting female blooms? Because I had them in full light for like six to seven hours a day on the east side of my property on the top shelf. Of course, only after they had leafed out and got acclimatized to the light, I kept moving them up a shelf until they ended up on the very, very top shelf in a lot of light, full sun and yeah, rumor has it that if the catacetums get too much light, 
they will produce female blooms. Another characteristic of this to know that these are female blooms is the structure of the flower stem. It is totally solid and it is not arching. Male blooms will be so much more in numbers and the stem is a little bit thinner depending on which catacetum you have and so it does cascade down. When it comes to the female version, you have a very, very thick flower stem based on whatever catacetum you have and it will not arch, it will not produce a lot of blooms. Granted, I could have had a few more because a wasp had a great time with all the happy sap that was developing. And I don't think I would have had another, maybe just one more bloom. So low bloom count, greenish in color with tinges of yellow, very sturdy. Bloom stalk that does not arch, but sticks out in a straight line ergo female blooms and I think for next year what I'm going to have to consider is where am I going to grow them because my outdoor areas have a lot of light. I may actually do an experiment then for next year at least with a jack of diamonds we'll see what the other ones will bring but with a jack of diamonds I will put it into my dining room area by the glass shelf right by the window where there is no direct sun but it receives bright light. So pretty much going to try and grow it together with my complex hybrid Phalaenopsis. <laughs> we'll see what happens then. Super interesting. I can't say either way whether I'm disappointed or not. I find that in the beginning I was like, oh, what is this? And then I realized teachable moment for me and maybe somebody else finds this useful. So let's have a look if we can predict something with my other two catacetums. Let me get rid of Jack of Diamonds or Jill. In this case, Jill of Diamonds. <laughs> Pun intended. And let's get Jumbo Mickey. So Jumbo Mickey's spike is developing very, very slowly right there. And it's already coming to a point where it looks like the sheath is already toughening up. Is that because I moved it like out of the wind and it is now going to abort? I do not know. The orchid in its structure is a little bit smaller. The bulbs aren't as pronounced, so that doesn't give me an indication of how sturdy is this spike. Is it fleshy, chunky? Is that a signal? Can I detect anything? Can I discern anything from this spike? I find it too early to call. So we're gonna have to wait and see about Jumbo Mickey. Let's have a look at my Fred Clarkara After Dark Black Pearl. Check this bulb out. Check that out. Big, big bulb for this year. Very, very pleased. And I have two spikes coming. Sorry for the jiggle. Which are better seen from the back. I call this the front. This is the back. I don't know how the orchid perceives its orientation, but look at this. Now this has got a very huge bulb as a structure, which could influence how thick the spikes are as they come out. Judging by the fact that this orchid has also lived in the same environment with this super high light direct sun for the past seven months, I'm going to hedge a guess that this one is going to bloom female as well, which would be kind of disappointing because of the fact that it is an after dark and black pearl and you want to see some dark blooms. On the other hand, teachable moment. These are my first spikes on all of my catacetums. And I am super curious to see whether I am right in identifying the chunkiness of the spike 
to already know whether this is going to be male or female. And I'm going to go with female. So anybody else out there, join in on the speculation. Let's have a little bit of a poll going. I can't do one yet. I'm not in any position of milestones to be able to do a poll. But what do you think? Are these going to be male spikes or female spikes? That's my little catacetum update. Little identification as well, female as opposed to male blooms. And I just wanted to mention one more thing. These leaves are almost about to go. This is what I look for in a catacetum, that it starts to crack and burst its own leaf joints. I'm going to wait another couple of days before removing these sheaths. I don't mind if the leaves are still somewhat green, but I do want to get the leaves off while they still have some substance in their structure here so that I can get as clean a bulb as possible at the other end. That was just a little thought process in case somebody was asking. I wait for the leaves to burst the seams, so to speak. <laughs> that to me shows an, a mature bulb. The higher I can get the leaf to burst, the better. I have not stopped fertilizing this one yet. Even if it wasn't in spike, I would actually continue fertilizing until I see the upper leaves burst through just like this. So that was just a little add-on. But having said that, remember, let me know what you think. Is the after dark going to bloom female or male? Is the jumbo Mickey going to bloom? That's A. Is it going to bloom female, B, or male, C? Because I'm not sure that that spike is even going to progress. So we'll see about that. And finally, let me know what you think of these. Do you like them? Do you find them interesting? Is this why you don't want to grow catacetums? Because the chances are, depending on how you grow your catacetums, the risk is too high to get female blooms? Or do you not care either way? Have you ever had female blooms? Lots of questions, I'm interested. Let me know, let's talk. Because honestly, despite them not being what I was hoping for, I'm still fascinated by them. And it's answered a question in my head, and I have the answer right in front of me. And I hope that maybe this video has answered some questions in your head as well. Let me know either way. I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so very, very much and stay safe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.